Hey guys, it's Violet, and I'm playing Black Desert Online. I wanted to put together uh, just a couple of guides on horse taming, um, just as a supplement to uh, my blog guide. So I wanted to kind of go over just the basics of what you need and um, how to actually do it step by step. So I'm coming into Velia because um, I'm going to get some ingredients to make sugar lumps. So basically, when you start out for horse teaming, you're going to need sugar lumps and you're going to need capturing rope. And that's pretty much all you need. So in order to make the sugar lumps, you need to find um, a cook. And you can do that up here using your NPC guide. You can find cooking. So pretty much any town you're in, if you click this, it'll take you to the nearest cook. So David Finto is the cook that you need in Velia. And if you come in to his shop, uh, you can buy raw sugar and mineral water. So you need 10 raw sugar per one mineral water. And depending on how high your uh, processing skill is, um, you know, that'll kind of determine how much you want to buy. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and buy 80 raw sugar. Um, and eight mineral water. <laughs> no, I'm not looking for anybody. <laughs> okay. So then you're going to go into your um, production menu and choose heating. These lovely items in and start. So I'm generally recommending, I don't know, between four and six sugar lumps per horse because you don't want to be out there and you only have, um, you know, three sugar lumps, you feed it to the horse and then it doesn't, uh, doesn't work out. So I like to just bring as many as I can and generally the ingredients are, you know, pretty cheap. I'd say that's pretty good. So now I'm going to head over to the stable where you can buy capturing rope. You can buy these items from the marketplace as well, but um, they'll be, you know, a little more expensive. The sugar lumps will be more expensive. Uh, so it's just kind of easier to make them yourself. So for capturing rope, again, I like to grab quite a few. Um, <laughs> because I mess up quite a bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and buy 15. You don't need 15, but I'm just being safe. Oh, so after you've gotten those uh, things, it's a good idea to go ahead and put them on your bar right away, just so you don't forget when you're out there looking for horses. So um, I'm just going to throw them on the bar here. So here I have under... Um, keys 9 and 0. I have uh, exactly what I need. You don't want to be going in and out of your menu when you're trying to capture horses. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to um, somewhere where I can find some horses. I'm going to come back to the video because I don't want to have to go to several places and uh, strike out while you're waiting to watch how to do it. So I'll be back shortly. Alright, so I found a horse up by Bandit's Den Byway, which is right here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and start trying to capture it. I haven't done this in a few weeks, so I'm probably going to be pretty bad at it, which is probably how you'll feel when you start as well. Uh, so basically horses just kind of roam around um, in a little bit of a circuit. You can stand and watch and you can kind of see that uh, they go back and forth in just a general direction. And 
basically you don't want to get too close to the horse otherwise you'll spook it which I'll show you what happens here if you just run up to it it spooks runs off generally if you're next to a wall it kind of gets stuck on a wall but you really um, can't get too close otherwise it runs off so um, be careful with that because if you're in a very tight area where uh, the horse can like run off the side of a cliff say down by Trent um, you could run the horse just right off the mountain so don't do that <laughs> it's not a good way to capture a horse uh, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get as close as you can without spooking the horse and then you're going to equip uh, one of the team ropes so as soon as you do that your character moves a lot slower so again you want to be kind of as close as you can get he's coming towards me so I need to go ahead and throw the rope you throw the rope with L as soon as you see some crosshairs here there we go oh too close spooked him again so there's that mini game that you saw there uh, along with this mini game boy that came up fast so when you're throwing the rope there's the little mini game that shows um, the section of the bar that you need to hit it's a lot like the fishing game and then when the horse rears which I'll wait for him to do again um, you want to play the space bar mini game and you're basically just going to push that space bar as fast as you can keeping it in the blue area and it says win if you're winning you're winning against the horse and you want to keep pressing it all the way until you get that menu again. Oh, he's just really angry with me. So you have like a 10 second, you know, game time. And you just have to keep pushing the space bar. It's really not hard. So when the horse is not rearing, you want to walk towards the horse. Usually you can get this close and he won't rear, but this horse is very uh, eager to rear. Then you're close enough to where you see the interaction uh, circle here. Now, my, my character's under the horse. Um, that's how close I had to get, apparently. But um, you could push R and mount the horse, which I'm going to do and show you what happens. Uh, basically, the horse is going to kick you in the face. No, it's not. <laughs> that never happens. That never happens. OK, um, we've just captured our first horse without any sugar lumps. Uh, again, that just never happens so anyway uh, I'll show how to capture with the sugar lump on the next horse but basically I've captured this horse I've um, jumped on it it's accepted me now I can uh, jump off the horse and I'm not gonna lose him he is my horse and he'll follow me around uh, as <laughs> something odd is happening he's porting to me come on over here come on yep <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's not right either. Anyway, what you can do is you can jump on your own horse and lead it back to the stable, um, or you can get back on your tamed horse and ride him back to a stable. Uh, of course, if you do that, you're leaving your horse kind of in an unprotected state, so I recommend that you always just lead your horse back to the stable. You need to take your horse... Boy, you're just super friendly. He loves me. Uh, you need to take your horse back to a stable that has an empty slot. Uh, you cannot overfill your stable with a tamed horse. Or maybe you can. I haven't done it in a long time, but I wouldn't risk it. So I'm going to take this horse uh, back to Velia. In, I don't know, in previous patches, it seemed that you didn't want to run too fast, otherwise your horse would get kind of stuck because uh, the tamed horses go very slow. But this horse is porting, so I'm going to say that I can probably go as quick as I want to go, and he'll come with me. I just need to get off the side of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so if I turn around here, yeah, he's just going to stick right with me. That's perfect. Uh, let's see. I'll just go as quick as I can here and see if he stays with me, which he probably will. My stable is full at Western Guard Camp, otherwise I would have uh, placed him there. 
we'll just head on into failure. Let's turn around and make sure he's still with me. Yep, here he is. He's just porting right along. He's not supposed to do that. He's supposed to follow you. Like, you know, actually trot after you. But, um, I guess this particular horse is magic and likes to just, uh, come along as a port. So when you get into the stable menu, you'll see that you have a tamed horse. Your choice is to register your wild horse. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And of course, you, when you tame your horses, you don't know what uh, the sex is going to be. So here it shows you that it's a male, uh, and it is. Uh, this is a pretty sure this is a tier one. Yeah, that's a tier one. So I'm just going to put in. Um, let's see. We'll call him. And there he is, tier one Samuel. Ooh, he's level nine already. So, uh, with recent patches, the horses that you can tame um, will have any level from one to ten, which is really nice because now I don't have to actually level this horse uh, to level nine. He's already leveled that way, and he comes with two skills: four chop, the most hated skill of all horsemen, and start excel. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go and <laughs> hopefully tame a horse that uh, actually would like some sugar lumps so that I can show you what it looks like when you fail because that was probably the easiest tame I've ever had. Uh, so I'm going to go off and find another horse and I'll start the video again when we get there. Alright, I am at my favorite place to tame horses, which is Furia. And, oh, this horse is really excited to see me. <laughs> he must have gotten spooked by something down below. Um, so, I'm going to try to tame this horse uh, with some sugar lumps. And first, I'm going to see if maybe we can show what it looks like to get kicked in the face when you don't succeed. I don't know why he likes that rock so much. Let's get him spooked over here. There we go. Okay, so Okay, I'm just going to try to jump on. There we go. Yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> okay, so when you get kicked in the face, uh, obviously you have to start all over again. You lose your capturing rope. The horse runs away. Uh, so that's, that's never good. Let's feed him some sugar. I like to make sure that they rear at least once. I don't know, it's probably tinfoil hat, but I don't like to just walk up to a horse. I feel like I don't succeed as well if I just walk up and not let him rear once. Alright, let's feed him some sugar. So I like to watch uh, the little cool down below, and I like to give it a second or two between um, sugar feeds. So that's number two. I'm going to give him four. Here's number three. And here's number four. Let's 
Let's see if that was enough. Oh, he is not happy with me. All right, we'll start again. All right, here we go. He's a feisty one. Or she. some sugar. We're going to try five this time. This is fourth. Here's five. Here we go. All right. And there you have it. Let's take this tier two down and register at the stable. Uh, find my way down the cliff first. <laughs> There's a few more horses up here. They all look to be tier ones and tier twos. Female, nice. Yeah, lovely name for a very ornery horse. Level six, with of course, four chop. <laughs> Actually, wow, uh, four skills. That's crazy. That never happens either. Must be lucky day for horse teaming for me today, so I'm going to go catch some more, and I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, leave some questions in the comments if you want, and uh, I'll leave a link to the post in my blog that has all of the location maps, and then I think I'm going to make some videos showing the circuits if that's helpful. See you soon!